non-surgical skills in PPH management. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to demonstrate one important but simple thing, how to do a uterine massage. The non-dominant hand should stabilize the uterus, place it above the pubic bone, and then massage the uterus for at least 30 seconds. And that is how you do a uterine massage. Now, what's the benefit of doing a uterine massage? Number one, you'll be able to feel the tone of the uterus to diagnose uterine atony, which is the most common cause of PPH. And secondly, you'll be able to rub a contraction, and this reduces the incidence of uterine atony. So uterine massage, it is a two-hand technique. Now, moving on to the first skill, how to perform an aortic compression. Now, aortic compression is a simple skill. It is not expensive, but it is highly effective. So how do you perform an aortic compression? The landmark is the umbilicus. Slightly left to the umbilicus, make a fist. Make sure your arms are straight and straight. Use your weight to bear down and to compress on the aorta. And how do you know if this is effective? Check for the femoral artery. There will be no pulsations felt. I need to compress for at least eight to 10 minutes to make sure it is effective. This is how you perform an aortic compression. So moving on to the second skill. The second skill is bimanual uterine compression. So ladies and gentlemen, there are two ways to do a bimanual uterine compression. One is an external bimanual uterine compression where you can use your dominant hand and non-dominant hand to compress the uterus. Or you can do an internal bimanual uterine compression. And make a fist, insert your entire fist right into the cavity, compress the anterior uterine wall, and then you sandwich this against the posterior uterine wall. And that is how you do an uh, internal bimanual uterine compression. So I'm going to demonstrate that once again. Imagine you've got a patient who is hemorrhaging. You have done an aortic compression. Step number two, you can do an external bimanual uterine compression, or you can make a fist, insert your entire fist into the cavity, compress the uterus, hold it for at least eight to 10 minutes. And that is how you do an internal bimanual uterine compression. Ladies and gentlemen, it is simple, it is effective, it works. So now I'm gonna have a trainee who's going to demonstrate to us how to perform a uterine massage, how to perform an LT compression, and how to perform a bimanual uterine compression. So first of all, uterine massage, use a non-dominant hand, you stabilize the uterus and then you massage the fundal of the uterus. Then, secondly, for aortic compression, then uh, with the umbilicus reference point, there's a two, it's about two centimeter. Then you a fist and apply. Make sure your hand is straight and then to check for effectiveness, look at the femoral pulse. You should not feel the pulse, it means that your aortic compression is good. Do for eight to ten minutes. Then for internal, so you put uh, <clears throat> put your hand, this insert into the cavity, and then you squeeze your the uterus for at least eight to ten minutes. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Very good. Just to recap, I think you are very confident in your skills. I think you are a very fast learner. Your uterine massage two-hand technique was excellent. The landmark that you used for IoT compression was good. How to make a fist? You must make a fist all the way downwards, arm straight, compress it, and this is how to make sure it is effective. And that is how you ensure there's no femoral pulsation. But your technique for the bimanual compression was good. Make a fist again, the entire fist into the cavity, compress the anterior wall of the uterus, 
your another head to sandwich this. And that is how you do uh, internal biomineral uterine compression. 